out surrounding one man. This guy right here, John Bradley, he was a Navy corpsman. Turns out a pair of history buffs discovered Bradley was wearing different clothing and carrying a different weapon in other photos that were taken that same day. Wow. <laughs> well, that's really, really quite interesting. But that's history. That's what history is about. Dig for the facts and things can change over time. Bradley's son James wrote a best-selling book entitled Flags of Our Fathers. It was later made into a movie. The two historians from Nebraska and Ireland believe the man identified as Bradley is really Harold Henry Schultz, who died in 1995. Bradley told the Associated Press he was shocked to learn his father may not be the man in that historic photograph. Okay. Wow, to be continued. It's been another banner year for the D.C. tourism industry. That's good because a lot of jobs are at stake here. In fact, it was a record year. Industry officials say the nation's capital welcomed 19.3 million visitors last year. That's up 1 million from the year before. Experts say the strong showing demonstrates the strength of Washington's tourism after the Great Recession. Always watching, always tracking. WUSA 9's first alert weather. D.C.'s most accurate. Oh, man, what a day we had yesterday. Yeah, a little quieter today. Oh, wet, but quieter. Yeah, yeah, yeah wet, absolutely. but quieter, exactly. I have a roof leak. What's that? I have a roof Sorry leak. about that. No. Yeah. And actually, we'll probably see over the next week or so people now realizing, oh, my car did get damaged with mm -hmm. the hail and my shingles did get damaged yes. uh, from the uh, hail. That was incredible. All right, let's talk uh, first things first. Live look outside. It's our live microphone on weather cam. Again, pretty nice in parts of the metro area. D.C. out to Fairfax. There's some sunshine. Temperatures low 60s. Winds out of the east uh, at about 13. Now, the radar over the last hour. This heavy activity is just about to exit Calvert County across the bay, but we still have some uh, more showers and a couple of isolated thunderstorms mixing in. I got to say, when these get a little further to the east, uh, the atmosphere is a little more stable, so they're holding together pretty well back here just to the east across Junction uh, on the west side of 81 headed toward Martinsburg and has some heavy rain in it. I don't see any hail, don't see any uh, damaging winds, but it is headed toward Martinsburg at about 743 and Bennington at about 754. I think it will hold together that long down to the south and east. This is just about to exit uh, Solomon's and Calvert County, St. Mary's County and down into the uh, northern neck. You're done with the rain in Mechanicsville and La Plata, Waldorf and Old Town uh, for the time being. So yellow weather alert tonight, showers and some early thunderstorms. Yellow weather alert tomorrow and Thursday for showers and rain. Both commutes could be affected tomorrow. Both could be wet. In fact, I think the morning commute will be most will see some rain or showers in the afternoon. So 10 o'clock tonight around town, pretty quiet. Still some showers and some heavier activity out to the west of us around Winchester, upper 50s there, about 60 downtown. And then by morning, it's all light shades of green here, so it's light activity, uh, but it's a nuisance type of deal. So 56 downtown, 53 in Gaithersburg. Is this really May? Uh, we get into the 9 o'clock hour. We're back in the mid 50s, maybe 57 in Fredericksburg. By lunchtime, we're 61 downtown. A little heavier shower it's just to the south of uh, La Plata. And then by evening, about 24 hours from now, a lot of clouds, temperatures in the low to mid 60s. Most of the heavy showers down to the south, but we're not expecting anything severe tomorrow whatsoever. It's just too stable. So on the day planner, showers and rain, uh, low to mid 50s to start, 59 by 11 o'clock and 61 uh, by 1 p.m. More rain and showers on Thursday, only 59, more like a March day. And we have issued a yellow weather alert for that day. Rain and showers on Friday, 60. We'll probably have to issue a yellow weather alert for that as well. Next seven days, not a bad weekend. Couple of showers Saturday night into Sunday morning. So if you're having an early brunch with mom, maybe some showers, having a cookout late, you're fine. Near 80 on Monday and low 80s next Tuesday. The Nats are back in town. Wow, look at that Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. All that rain. <laughs> uh, you you going to talk football? Football, yeah. Okay, bring it on. The spring workouts are about to start.